Seriously, I don't have time for this today. I'm on my way. Wherever the wind takes me. Okay, I'm coming. Difficult mother, always late. She's gonna be here soon. Any minute now, you know what she's like. Just be patient. What do you reckon she wants to talk to us about this time? Well, what about all the earthquakes? That's not relevant. Well, there sure has been a lot of bushfires this summer. Well, maybe, just maybe, if there was a bit more rain, the fires wouldn't have been able to spread so far, don't you think? Your fires have put me out, making the water line for everyone is good and good. Not with you, no. Hey, Dad, you want to come? Listen, children. All is not as simple as it seems, for ignorance is the blindfold that breeds these disasters. You will soon see we all play a part in this twisted game. Nature, ignorance and stupidity, all partly to blame. But fear not, for if we work together in the game, we can make a change. Fire danger ratings are extreme today. It looks like with the cancel plans for his marshmallow down in the sun. Oh, maybe the Mario turned into a hot spring for the weekend. I wish. Harry, speak, who not the wildlife sign? What did she say? Go faster. Look, watch out! What was that? Oh. Uh... Shit, that's a bloody wombat. No, that's a koala, you idiot. I think you killed it. Oh, it's fine, guys. There's more koalas than there are gum trees in Australia. Just move it off the road. Oh, yuck, yuck. Oh. Hey, where's this bloody camping ground? The map says up to the left on that dirt track, right over that bridge. There it is, right on the Murray's promise. Paradise at last. What a lovely view to wake up to. Come on guys, let's get the fire started and then we can relax. Hey guys, do you smell that? It smells like smoke. It's fine guys. Maybe the trees decided to have a bonfire party and they just forgot to invite us, eh? No, mate, that's a pretty big bonfire. Look at the smoke. Look over there at 12 o'clock. It's fine, guys. Elements can't mix. The river's going to protect us, but hey, maybe we'll get that hot springs after all. It's no time for jokes, mate. I'm actually scared. It's getting bigger. It's fine, guys. The river's going to protect us. I heard if the bushfires get hot enough, they skip the river all together. Maybe you're right. The wind is blowing the flames right towards us. Look, look, by the river's edge, our side, it's smoking. It's on fire! What do we do? If we go back over there, that's where the fire is. <coughs> no point. The smoke, I can feel it in my lungs, it burns. It stings. Quick, everybody, under the car. What do we do? Pray. We want to live, live past 2040, stop Willow now. We want to live past 2040, stop Willow now. We want to live past 2040, stop Willow now. We want to live past 2040, stop Willow now. We want to live past 2040, stop Willow now. Madam President, are you sure you want to do this? You know what will happen. It's a dire situation. If we don't act now, our economy will crumble. We will be reduced to third world country. We'll, it's a bleach for America. With all due respect, Madam, that is complete bullshit. Think of my children, everyone's children. If we do this, there is no going back. The ice will melt, the planet will heat. I might never meet my grandson. Shut up! Shut up. None of us want this to happen, but it must.
So, how are we today? Doctor, what's wrong with me? Why can't I stop coughing? <coughs> you have emphysema. It's a long-term condition. You're going to struggle with breathing for the rest of your life. It pains me to say this, but this condition has shifted by 40% in the last five years due to the relief project. It's filling everyone's lungs with toxins from the oil, and with the dry landscapes, there's no more trees to go to the air. The world is changing. Can't you see? The air is thick with toxicity. The Willow Project, a stubborn hold, has left our earth and lungs so cold. The government, they turn a blind eye, while many suffer and many die. With disease and illness, they spread and grow. The trees once stood tall and strong, now the dry, barren lands belong. The air we breathe is filled with waste. The government's stubbornness, such a disgrace. It was January 2001. Wiro Dalal had just returned home to India from the US where he was studying computer science. He was in his bedroom working on a new project while his family ate breakfast down the hall. When the unthinkable happened, a 7.7 magnitude earthquake shook the city for two minutes, causing the condominium to collapse like a stack of cards. In the aftermath of the earthquake, Dalal discovered he was trapped beneath in a dark concrete casket beneath six stories of rubble. Help, please help. I don't know how long it's been. I have no food, no water. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. He was trapped for five days before Rescuers heard his raspy cry for help. Help. Upon emerging from the earthquake, Galal discovered he was the lone survivor. His parents, brother, sister-in-law and nephew had died. Oh God, no, please. No. Life. Funny thing, huh? You can never predict what's going to happen. Anywhere the wind blows, as they say. You can never tell when there's a storm brewing, when the forecast isn't quite right. You jam three different people in a small suburban cage and then see what happens. Hey, check the trash out, yeah? No, I forgot. Dude, you forgot again? Surely after three weeks of forgetting, you would remember this time. Well, no one reminded me. We, we both, both told, told you. you. Oh, whatever. Life doesn't treat all of us easy. It's always the one day you forget your umbrella that it rains, but you're still expected to walk through it. He drank all the milk again? We're all people. We're all susceptible to the wildest of hysteria and deliria. We all have the fever. I'm sure you know what I mean. Sometimes all this passion leads to great, beautiful things, but other times it all builds up until it erupts. Oh, I'm sick of all this shit. But don't forget, it's always quietest before the true storm hits. Quick, everybody, under the table. Gee, man, you're lucky I didn't die. What? Remind me of this stupid idea it was to make me take out the trash. Don't worry about it. Oh shit, there goes the roof. There goes Max. Our dog. Everybody, hold on. That night we lost a father, a sister, a friend, a dog, a grandmother, a volunteer worker. Mother, I'm sorry, our ignorance has caused this. Humans must learn from their past mistakes if there is to be a future. Anger, the most wildest bushfire of all, destroying people and homes and so much more. Greed, which melts from our very core. What might come right might not always be easy. Air, the brewer of all storms which we face every day. They say there's a calm before every storm, but that may not be true. 
For if we breathe, the calmness can thrive through the hurricane. We all endure hardships, fights for our lives, but we must know, if even if we hold on for a minute longer, we can survive. We must come together to light and protect the candle of hope. 